Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. We've all seen roads painted with words, symbols, and lines. I'm going to show you how to make your own road painted sign. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and click on your character text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. Choose your font. I'm using Lee Gothic which you can download for free at fontsquirrel.com. Click on your color box and choose white. Type out your text and to reposition it call up your move tool, click on your text and move it. Go to layer, rasterize, type. We can close the text windows now. We need to make our text appear in correct perspective on the road. To do this, we could either use the Vanishing Point filter or the Transform tool. For this example, let's use the Transform. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call it up. We'll use the painted lines in the road as a guide to transform our text in perspective. Notice the top right corner is on the left of the yellow line. I'll go to the bottom right corner and press Shift and Ctrl or Shift and Command on a Mac and I'll drag the transform to the left of the yellow line. The right side of our sign is in perspective with the road. Now let's do the left side. I'll go to the top left corner and press Shift and Control or Shift and Command and drag it to the right side of the dashed line. Then I'll drag the bottom left corner of the transform and drag it to match the perspective. Now our text is in perspective with the road. I'd like to make our sign a bit smaller, so I'll go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. To accept it, press Enter or Return. Go to your sign and Control click or Command click to make it into a selection. Go to your background and click on it to make it active. Press Control or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Drag the layer to the top and change the blend mode to hard light. Apply your auto levels by pressing Control Shift L or Command Shift L on a Mac. Now reduce its opacity between 45 to 50 percent. Since this particular photo's depth of field is limited, the further back the scene is in space, the less focused and more blurry everything is. Therefore, I'd like to blur the top of our text so it blends in more realistically with the road. Make your middle layer active and call up your blur tool. I'll choose a 70 point brush size and the strength is 100. Now I'll just drag across the top to blur it. Depending on your photo, if your original road has a lot of color in it, the blend mode may have brought out a bit too much color inside the sign. If so, you may want to reduce it. To do this, simply click on the top layer and press Ctrl or Command plus U to call up the hue saturation window. For this photo, I'll reduce the saturation to about 50%. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.